he wanted me to work with him. He got a lot of. He just kept asking me to come and work with him, and he would call and would come to see us. He came down there about five or six times. So I said no, but then I decided I'd go. She was by his side and helped him edit um, a lot of his manuscripts, a lot of his letters. She basically was the gatekeeper to him. Um, so, so not only was she his assistant and confidant and ally, she also pr provided haven for him. Praise it. Mark, I dreamed last night I died and nobody came to my funeral. And that was very touching. And I said, oh, Martin, that's not going to happen. I've, I've been in this business close to 20 years, and I can tell you I've not ever seen um, items such as this. But, you know, I, I, I know this happened, and I know I have, but I don't go back to read and go over those things. I don't think about it. I know they happened. I was there. It's, it was a part of me, and it is a part of me. and will forever be a part of me and my family. You know, our, our sincerest hope is that the uh, material, these, these uh, historical documents, uh, will be shared with uh, educational institutions, uh, museums, and libraries, or what have you, so that uh, particularly young people can have access to them.